All right, so we're gonna dive into Lucy's training and we're gonna talk about how to operate her remote collar. So before we get started with that, I want to reiterate when Lucy does something correct, we wanna reward that with treats, praise, and petting. That's how we're gonna pay her for doing the training. We're not bribing her to do it, we're paying her after she does the command. So for example, come when called. If we're practicing with Lucy outside and she's sniffing around and we say come, and she comes to us, good girl, we praise that, and then we give her a treat to pay her for doing what we asked. Now, the same thing will happen if, the same concept, I'm sorry, the same concept will happen if she doesn't listen to the command. So there are gonna be consequences, both good and bad. So if you say come and she decides to ignore us, that's when we're gonna follow through with the remote caller so that she learns to respect our command and not just do it for the treat, but also do it because she needs to do it, okay? So we are gonna get started with the remote collar. So on the remote collar, you'll see on one side, I have this little blue tape that says Lucy. On the other side, you will see a little red dot. That is the magnet that turns on the collar itself. When we look at the remote, if we turn it where the antenna is, turn it towards that side, we see a little red magnet dot that matches. So what we're gonna do is touch the two magnets together and that is gonna turn on the collar. So we're gonna touch the two together and you'll see a green light up at the top. That green light means that it is on and charged. So the same thing to shut the collar off. We touch the two together and the collar shuts off. So. Touch these little red magnets together and you'll see a green light. Green means it's on, good to go, charged up. If this little light right here starts flashing orange or red, it means that the collar itself is about to die and we need to charge it up. So this is on, I'm gonna set it off to the side. Now, we're gonna turn the remote on. So if we turn it to the back, you're gonna see a big button in the middle right here. You're going to push and hold that, push and hold, and you'll see that it lights up in the front. So the collar is on, the remote is on, we are good to go. So when we're using the remote, we wanna be consistent. Uh, we want Lucy to wear it every day so that she doesn't become collar savvy, which means she'll only listen when the collar is on. So keep that in mind, she, she can wear this every day, 10 to 12 hours a day. So. Now we're gonna talk about what the buttons do and what we're gonna push. So, my hand is going to be Lucy here for a second. Let's say, for example, come when called. I ask her to come, she doesn't, I'm gonna say no, stimulate, which is the black S button. So you're gonna say no, push the black S button, I felt that, and then you're gonna repeat the command. That is with every command. So let's say loosely walking. She starts to walk ahead of us, we say no, push the black S button, make sure you push it all the way so you can hear that little click. That stimulates her, that gives her the negative correction to uh, make sure that she follows through and listens to your command on the first try. And then you tell her to do the command again. So heel, sit, down, place, come, leave it, whatever it is, if you ask her to do a command and she does it, great, no correction needed. If she doesn't do the command, that's when you say no and push the black S button. Next, we're gonna talk about the red S button. This is for emergencies only. This is the boost feature. So it is actually going to double. You only need this in extreme situations. I have not needed this yet for Lucy, but you would say no and it um, doubles to 30. And I'm still pushing the button, but you notice it's not continuously stimulating me. It just gives me that little boop, and it's uncomfortable. I don't love it, but it's not unbearable. So I'll show you again. Red button is level 30. So the reason we have that boost feature, sorry, is if Lucy gets really excited, her tolerance for discomfort goes up with that excitement. So sometimes level 15 just isn't enough. So that's why we have 
level 30. We also have to keep in mind Lucy is young, so she's excited more often. So with that, we wanna help her and use the slip collar as well. So we're gonna take a break from the remote for just a second and talk about the slip collar. So I suggest she walks with this collar. What it does is pretend this is her remote collar. It sits above, just behind her ears, and then this little tab right here slides down and make sure that she can't slip out. And this is a guiding tool to help guide Lucy where we want her. So if she's a little bit too far ahead, pop, pop, we can get her back. Um, and this just helps balance with the remote and guiding her. So we're using the remote to correct what we don't like. And then we're using this to guide her and help her, help give her the answer of what we expect her to do. So for example, tugging up, either means you're walking too far ahead of me or I want you to sit. Tugging down means I want you to lay down. So those are the subtle tugs. And then anything else, if you just tug upwards, it just means you don't like what she's doing. But if you want her to sit, tug up. If you want her to stop walking in front of you, tug up. If you want her to lay down, tug down. So that's how we're gonna help guide her. Because again, we have to think she's still young. We've laid down the foundation, but we wanna make sure we help her make the right choices. So we are going to finish going over the remote, going over all the features. So the S buttons are the correction buttons. Again, she does something wrong, no. Press the black S button. This is gonna be your primary button. If we flip the collar over here, this T stands for toner or vibrate. So it just vibrates. I have not used this on Lucy, but you can use it in the future as a warning. Like, hey, you've done really well, but you're kind of messing up. No correction with the vibrate button. I wouldn't rely on it too much because it's kind of like counting to three. You do it so many times and she starts to kind of ignore that. It's almost like an empty threat. We're not threatening her. These are the rules, plain and simple. Rewards for doing good, consequences for doing bad. So, moving on to the back here, the on off button can also be a flashlight. So if you just tap it, tap it again, her lights right here light up so you can see her in the dark, tap it again. So if you go to turn off the remote and you hold, but you don't hold it long enough, it activates the flashlight so you'll just have the flashlight on tap it until they shut off. This little button over here, the M slash C, you don't have to worry about that. It stands for momentary or continuous. So momentary means tap, continuous means constant on the stimulation. So like I'll show you, look at the uh, light right here. When I push this, you'll see the red light just flashed a little bit. That means it's momentary, but continuous, if I were to push and hold it, means that it would stimulate the entire time and we just don't need that. So that's why we're using the remote collards to gain off leash freedom, but it's also to make sure that we follow through with our commands. If Lucy doesn't listen, there has to be a consequence. And if she does listen, she gets a reward. If the we reward behavior, it is more likely to happen. If we correct behavior or punish behavior, it is less likely to happen. So keep that in mind. So we're going to talk about how she should wear this collar. I've put tape right here because she's tiny and that's about how big her neck is. The collar needs to be snug so that the contact points make good connection with her skin. So I've put some guiding tape right here to say go up to the tape right there, of course, until she gets bigger and then you'll need to adjust accordingly to her size. But you should only be able to fit about two fingertips underneath there once she's wearing it because again, she's really small and she has a lot of hair. So we wanna make sure that the contacts make good connection with her skin. She can wear this every day, 10 to 12 hours a day. It is waterproof, but if she goes swimming or gets wet, you wanna make sure that you take the collar off so that her hair dries thoroughly because if you leave it on, moisture will mix with the oils of her skin, create a bacteria, which could lead to an infection. So we don't want that to happen. So if she gets wet or goes swimming, take it off, let her dry, put it back on. And she should wear it anywhere underneath her neck. So to the side, underneath, anywhere, right in there is fine. Um, this is rechargeable, oh yeah. So at the bottom right here, that's the little charging port. Make sure that is closed to keep all the electronics safe from water. Same thing on the back of the remote. 
good to go. So I'm gonna shut this off. So again, we find the little red dot, little red dot, touch them together and we'll see a red light. It's off. Turn this off by pushing and holding the big button in the back. Boom, done. And she's at level 15. Level 15 is not that high. That can change over time. It can either go up or down, but right now level 15 works great for her. So this is your uh, box. This is the tray, or I'm sorry, not the train, the charging thing. So you can charge both the remote and the collar at the same time. These are your contact point extenders. So if you decide to grow her hair out, you can make the contact points a little bit longer and you would actually change those out by using this little black tool to tighten and loosen the little prongs. And then under here we have the instructions if you wanna make sure you go over it in greater detail so you really understand it, but we've pretty much gone over all the features that you'll need. So the most important thing is to work on everything daily. Uh, the more you work on everything with her, the better she's gonna be. Reward what you like, correct what you don't like, have fun and stay consistent. And now we're gonna show you Lucy's commands. Good heel. Down, 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 down. 
down. Good girl. Big stretch. Good down. Down. Free. Good girl. Okay. Good girl. Place. 